Warning! The following video contains fictional and not real trains. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so I came up here with the intention of filming a video uh, to sort of go over some of my projects. I realise it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and that's just because I've been so busy and I was in the middle of filming a massive project. If you've been watching my Instagram, you'll know that uh, I actually lost a considerable amount of the video files from uh, filming that project. So uh, the bitterness may still be in my voice whilst I'm talking about it. But this is just a short little video to upload just before Christmas, just to sort of say... Hope everyone's doing all right and everybody has a good Christmas. Um, I came up here because I, I wanted to just sort of try and tidy up the fiddle yard section of my layout. And what actually happened is I've pulled the fiddle yard out and now it's up the front here uh, so that I'm not sort of scrunched up underneath the the, the rafters and the, uh, the roof because it's usually tucked away in a, a very tight space. So I'm able to lift this out going to work on the track and then I'm going to put it back so that I can actually have a few lines. I know when I started these videos I said I wasn't going to put uh, anything in the fiddle yard for a while but for a little bit of spare track I'm actually able to just sort of add at least one additional per line so I'm going to do that because it means that I can have two trains set up per line and then trains can go round and round. The main reason I wanted to film this though is because uh, if you've been following Instagram I uh, decided to do a massive project where I decided to repaint a lot of British Rail uh, blue and grey coaches and various locomotives into Network South East. Um, I don't have the money to purchase the 60 quid coaches uh, whilst they do look fantastic. Uh, I, I just don't have the funds for it. Um, and with my background of doing Warhammer and stuff like that and uh, painting toy soldiers, it was something I was like, well, I'm going to give this a go. Uh, so the project consisted of, uh, I think it's, 13, 13 or 14 uh, Mark II coaches, plus there's a few Mark I's that still haven't been done, and the uh, Class 117 DMUs in there as well. Uh, because of how long the project's taking me, I've decided to leave the Mark I's and the 117's for a while uh, until I get my mojo back. Uh, but I am extremely happy with how the coaches and the uh, locos have turned out. Um... Hopefully future Sam will have put a warning in front of this video because I, there might be some people who get highly offended by some of the clips I'm about to show. Um, I'm also stuck behind the fiddle yard at the moment, but it's also good because I can get a better view of all of the different different things on the table. So uh, I repainted one of my Class 47s, uh, my Lima Class 50, and then there's all of these coaches here. Now all the ones that you see on the table have had their couplings upgraded so they've either got KD couplings or Hunt magnetic couplings um, just for a lot of ease uh, I'm often leaning over and using the magnetic couplings and just having to pull stuff apart sometimes is a lot easier than the old tension locks uh, and what I've done is I've put a KD on the end of each train and there's about five coaches uh, I'm trying to count them all quickly whilst talking but yeah there's five co what I've got is five coaches per train because that's uh, the length of the platforms it still looks nice and it's not an exact science to stopping um, how they've panned out now there are a couple of the already factory painted mark twos on here uh, that sort of really bright one that you can see there is the only one that really stands out there is another factory mark two in there but i feel that that one ble bleeds in a little bit more or blends in a little bit more with the others uh, i'm really happy with how the class 50 and the 47 have turned out uh, now, if you bear with me whilst I move the camera around. Uh, I've also done this fictitious Class 33. Uh, I know for a fact that there's no Class 33 that was done in the old style um, upward stroke network southeast livery. However, I'm not a big fan of the darker blue with the line that goes all the way along the bottom. So I decided I'm going to do one that I like the look of. And uh, did it myself, and I'm really happy with that as well. So I've got three Network Southeast locos now uh, that can run these trains. Um, 
hopefully before Christmas I'm able to get at least one of the loops working so I can have a little bit of running, hopefully put some videos up. Um, if not, I know I'm getting a DCC unit for Christmas, so my other thing is that I want to sort out the bus that's going underneath the table, which is why a lot of the uh, cables have been disconnected so I can get that all sorted. But yeah, that's that's what I've been up to. Um, it's just a short video. Um, I, I hope everyone's having a nice time. Oh, I, I've also been working on the platform. So this one's got the sides and the tops on. The one at the back still needs the tops doing. Uh, halfway through the project, I ran out of this Metcalf card and then just decided to uh, go with plastic card. So I'm going to be painting this anyway, but I have the card left over from a previous project so um yeah it's a bit messy up here um i haven't been up here that much because i've been doing the painting stuff so um and that's a lot easier for me to do in day-to-day -day life i can sort of take 10 15 minutes here and there throughout my week uh, throughout my days to sort of go over so yeah so that's that's pretty much the little update i hope you guys have enjoyed it um i hope you all have a wonderful christmas uh i hope you plenty of stuff to do with your hobby time uh, and if you don't I hope that you get to spend lots of time with friends, family, loved ones or, or even get some peace and quiet to yourself if that's your kind of thing. Um, I will maybe see you before but if not I uh, hope you have a wonderful new year and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much.